Welcome back to World War Report Weekly. Now please stand for your Pledge of Allegiance. Now for a special announcement. This special announcement is about substance abuse. In middle school, there are many different things that can affect your mental health, but dangerous substances are not the way to solve those problems. Marijuana use has been linked to a range of mental health problems in teens such as depression or anxiety. Psychosis has also been in teens at a higher risk like those with a family history. Now for a special interview with our very own Mr. Longnecker about the subject. While it's proven some people do benefit from the physical and psychological effects of marijuana, it can be a pretty dangerous drug to the health and well-being of a happy, healthy kid. If you think you're not happy now, imagine how unhappy you'd be if you were to be arrested for marijuana possession, waking up day after day with a court date looming over your head. If you think you aren't healthy now, just know that the National Institution on Drug Abuse found marijuana impacts your teenage brain while it's developing and its capacity to make connections. A private study published in JAMA Psychiatry found teens lose an average of 5.8 IQ points if they smoke weed into adulthood. Not to mention the negative health consequences of smoking and the number of teenage hospital visits due to marijuana. Some teens think vaping is a better alternative to smoking, but it has led to hospitalizations as well. And vaping carries known and yet to be known health consequences. The addictive ingredient nicotine in vapes acts very similarly to the naturally occurring compound THC in marijuana. They trigger your brain's happy receptors. One way we can trigger these same happy receptors is by practicing mindfulness. Believe it or not, you trigger the same happy receptors that THC and nicotine trigger by planning to do something and then doing it. Making a list of daily to-dos that includes fun things you like to do is a far healthier alternative to THC and nicotine for a teen or an adult looking to boost their mental health. When we do things with a purpose, we feel good. It's not rocket science. It's a mixture of ancient wisdom, psychiatry, and neuroscience. Thank you, Mr. Longnecker. Now for some thank yous by our fellow students to our teachers. What teachers helped you the most through CDL? Um, what teachers? Uh, Mr. Longnecker's pretty cool. Uh, Mr. Richmond, he's great. He was a great teacher. I didn't do well in his class because I'm stupid, but he was really great. I learned, but I just didn't do well. Okay, thank you. So, Lily, what teachers helped you the most through CDL? Well, um, probably Mr. Lundecker. He was always, um, he was always really helpful, and I liked his work a lot. Okay, thank you, Lily. So, what teacher has helped you the most through CDL um, and online learning and stuff? Mr. Stover, probably. What teacher has helped you the most through CDL and online learning, Tyler? Mr. Stover. Thank you for all the appreciation from you guys this school year, and have a great summer. <laughs> Bye! Bye. Well, that's it, that guy. That guy. <laughs> you weirdo. Hi, I'm Erin Caldwell. And I'm Evan Umbright. Welcome back to Wallport Weekly. Where's the script? <laughs> <laughs> My knee. <laughs> okay. I got the announcement. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. <laughs> we should redo that. <laughs> you guys. So, what teachers? Oh, you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is my time. No, <laughs> you good? No. I'm sunbathing. <laughs> Mildred, I swear to you. Mildred, please stop. Right now, we're recording.